Hi there, Amanda from Social Studio here. How are you? Hope you're well and safe. Um, today I'm going to bring you my plans for my main make. So I'm a little bit later with my main makes um, just because I think May Day completely threw me out and I've been all week sort of scrabbling to um, catch up in the shop. I'm definitely going to be kinder to myself um, and not try and make quite as many things as I did in April um, <laughs> because that was just pretty insane. Also I've been realistic that I know I haven't got the time because with the shop now reopened and it's so lovely to see regulars, new people starting their sewing journeys and obviously then the end of May all being well we're now starting the classes back in the studio. So kicking off the theme then for May I'm going to actually look at doing dresses um, and again, I started going, oh, I want to do that one and that one and that one. Oh, and if you could squeeze it out. Oh, oh, and I was like, no, 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 right. Hold it down. It was so hard. I really promise you it was really hard. So I have made this one. Number one is Tilly and the Buttons Indigo Dress. And I have made this twice now. Um, when it first came out, hand on heart, I was like, really? But I pattern test. I try them out for the shop. I absolutely loved it, hence made a second one. Um, I do prefer it with um, little ties in at the side just to cinch it in a little bit. Um, I tend to make a straight size 5 with Tilly. Um, I don't think I did a full bust adjustment on this one, but I will check, but I'll replay that one back for you. I'm not into the flouncy flouncy um, sleeves either, just because I'm really clumsy and I tend to get caught up on handles quite a lot so this one as I say I've done twice but in the short version and I really fancy doing the midi dress the longer version with the frill round the bottom and this has been on my to-do list for easily eight months um, when this fabric came in I absolutely loved it and I still do um, so I pilfered myself some off it is beautiful cotton viscose and it's got a slight, it's slightly semi-sheer but I think it will be fine with the fullness. At least one of my jobs is done because this beautiful embroidery around the bottom, I'm not going to have to hem the bottom of it so that will save a little bit of time. And I did quite fancy maybe I'm going to do the bracelet sleeves again, the, um, the embroidery around there but it would have taken more fabric with a lot of wastage and I don't really like doing that majorly so I thought well I'll just do plain sleeves so yeah that's my first one as I say it's absolutely gorgeous I think there is a little bit left on the web it's got these tiny little sort of pebble sort of shapes and it's got the most gorgeous colors of sort of browns and royal blues there's a minty green as well um so yeah, and this little beautiful cream embroidery on the bottom. So I think with a maxi dress and sort of, you know, sort of pair of vans or trainers, it'll be quite nice and quite light and fluid when the weather warms up. So dress number two, again, I think these are going to be fairly quick to make up. So my pattern's already prepped for the um, indigo, which half of it I've started now I've cut like the main shapes out of uh, this one so I'm going to do the yeah, cashmere Appleton dress so it's a wrap dress um, slim skirt and I've been toying around with um, the sizing so last month I made the Turner dress and totally loved it really into cashmere um, dresses because you haven't got to sort of mess about doing a full bust adjustment now I did a 14 in the turn and normally I do a 12 with cashmere. So I did a 14, it was absolutely fine. I could get away with doing the 12 in it. I was just not sure about the negative ease, the amount that they were asking for. So with this one, I've decided I'm gonna go back to a 12, but I'm gonna go up a cup size. So rather than doing the CD, I'm gonna do the EF just to see if I get a little bit more coverage on the crossover. Um, I'm fairly confident I've like held up the pattern piece um, to me and I do think I'm going to end up lengthening this just an inch or so. Um, I want it sort of 
just on top of my knee and um, just above my knee but not too short that sort of thing so yeah um, I'll play around with that and I'm going to do the short sleeved version and I'm going to do it in this gorgeous art gallery fabric that we had in about two weeks ago I think it was so it's absolutely gorgeous um, art gallery fabric is just to die for I know then it's going to last me for a fair while um, I can't remember the name of this it's something gems um, <laughs> yeah I'll put a link in the bottom anyway as I do but yeah it's something gems and it's all these beautiful and it's sort of like looks like my um, quilting so it's like quarter triangles for the quilters and it's got so many beautiful colours in it and I really did fancy picking up um, the neckband and the waist tie in one of the colours um, but unfortunately I don't know the green I might toy around with the green model I think that will work quite nicely but it is a little bit more tealy in the colours and I really quite fancied I'm quite a pink and blue girl so I really did fancy a good bright fuchsia pink but if not I'll carry on with it black was a bit too obvious um, so yeah that is going to be make number two so again I think it's going to be pretty quick a Jersey Jess I'm quite quick at making those up so it won't be too bad um, I'll probably put the 609 jersey interface in to stabilize the hems probably the waist um, stays and the um, facings on the front but I will keep you posted on there for the next ones so I'm probably, I'm not sure which order I will be making these. So I've got to wash the first fabric um, and the second. This one's already been washed, so I'll probably kick off with this one. Again, this has been on my to-do list for ever, I think. So it's the um, the Asher dress from Style Arc. So it's really beautiful. I've made it with a couple of my ladies in the studio when we could do classes last year. Um, it's got this beautiful shearing around the waist and it's also got shearing around the wrists as well to cinch that in. It's got a beautiful sort of scooped hemline as well, sort of high, low rise. Um, not made up my mind if I'm going to keep, I think I probably will keep that because I do like it to be honest. Um, and I, again, when I was sort of thinking May makes, right, it's going to be going into June, I'm going to do the sleeveless version. But I just love the sleeves on it, so I am going to do the sleeved version. I'm going to do it in this Jenna viscose. It feels more like a crepe, to be honest, but it is viscose. So it even got sort of the um, the crinkly texture on the top of the um, the fabric. But it is, it's beautiful. It's this bright sort of corally orange, which I think is just perfect for summer. It's got the lovely little cream flowers and they're just edged in a bit of sunshine yellow and some royal blue there we go so it's got a beautiful drape so i think yeah it's going to be a really smart dress but again i know that i'll be able to sort of like bring it down a little bit just by wearing my trainers um but obviously if i then want to wear it we start going out for some meals and things like that I can put a nice pair of heels or sandals on and make that quite dressy on that front so my final and fourth make as I say I've got a couple of bubbling that I really want to have a go at but these are the ones that I these will be done by the end of May is the LED wrap dress now this one's been doing the rounds for the last month or so and we've sold umpteen of the patterns and I'm really jealous so this was why I was like right I'm going to do it it's um the closet core pattern wrap dress okay and I'm going to do again the 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 maxi dress with the the bigger fluted sleeves it very much reminds me of the Vogue is it 9252 um one which I've made twice with this beautiful whoops dropping pattern um, with a beautiful grown on sleeves through there and then you've got the wrap and you've got the little tucks on the waist so I think that will be beautiful and as soon as it came in again this is a rayon it's a stuff rayon 
stuff tends to be a little bit wider in the widths as well now I've purposely not cut it off because um, I tend to find sometimes some of the designers are quite generous with their fabric measurements and not that I'm being tight but obviously if we can save extra fabric then I can then report back to you it's a little bit like the Appleton okay so it was saying 2.7 meters and for an art gallery fabric that would work out quite a pricey dress um, but I've managed to get it out of two and a quarter I've just laid the pattern pieces across and even with lengthening it I'm getting it out of two and a quarter so it was saying 2.3 for the smaller sizes. I'm going to do the size 12, which they were saying 2.7. So it's quite a difference, um, nearly half a meter. So yeah, it can impact. So I'm going to sort of hold back. Um, this will probably be one of the last, the last make I do. So I just, just so I can prep the, um, the pattern pieces and I can lay them on. But this Maya Skies is just adorable. Again, it's this beautiful beautiful blue sky background and these gorgeous leaves and the, t the colors are just be oh, fabulous so it's a buttery yellow the tealy greens the deep plum I think you know it, with the different colors it is very summery and beautiful but I think it would go into the autumn really well the quality of it is just fantastic you know you can really tell you know it's sometimes worth spending a little bit extra on some of the the rayons and the viscoses you know if you when you sort of like look down and you think well why is something eight pound a meter something 16 pound a meter it is the quality that you're getting it's absolutely gorgeous so the crease on it you know you could screw it up and there's hardly a crease through there so i think it's going to hang beautifully again the um the sheerness is absolutely fine it's going to work superbly in that so i really can't wait to to make that up and i know that i've got a pair of sort of gladiator brown sandals with a little heel that i'll be able to team up with that as well so those are my makes that i'm planning for may wish me well okay i'm going to start asap probably on the was it yeah the asher because that fabric has been prepped but these the other two they've been cut so they'll be home in the wash asap so hopefully i can start getting those cut out um this week so keep posted um i'll share progress on social media so if you want to join us on social media on facebook or instagram we're under the social studio if i've kind of inspired you and you quite fancy joining me on sewing some of these give us a thumbs up guys and don't forget to subscribe so take care have a lovely week and see you soon bye now